Today, let's dive into the hagfish, also known as myxine gluta glutinosa. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you enjoy marine life. And go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoy this video and comment any suggestions below. But anyways, let's dive right in. The hagfish is a jawless fish. Oh, yes, it is a fish, although it looks like an eel, much like the sea lamprey, which is another jawless fish. They, but the hagfishes are under the class Max, or Mycini, or Mycini, um, and the hagfish grows up to 30 inches in length, only weighing about a pound. Now, if Nickelodeon wanted a sea animal to be its mascot for the amount of slime that they produce, the hagfish would easily fit the position because the hagfish produces enough slime to fill a bucket in a matter of minutes. They have slime producing glands or slime pores that are along both sides of the body. And the hagfish lives anywhere from 40 to 1200 meters underneath the sea. On They're usually found on coastal waters in the North Atlantic and in the Mediterranean Sea. They do not have a bony skeleton, but they do have a flexible cell rod called a notochord, which thus allows it to be considered a chordate under the phylum chordata, which means they have a backbone of sorts. They the reason why they produce so much slime is because it is a great defense against predators. The hagfish does not have many predators because of this, and it is very easy for it to get away from predators when it's producing all of this nasty slime. They only have a rudimentary set of eyes, which means that they have very underdeveloped eyes, but they mainly eat crustaceans however they have been seen scavenging on whale carcasses fish carcasses there they have there's a plethora of footage of hagfish having an all-you-can-eat buffet at a dead whale carcass that has found its way at the bottom of the ocean hagfish are always going to be there and they are very good at tying itself in knots and thanks to their notochord they are very flexible and they can do all kinds of little like tricks and things like that they tie themselves in knots one to get rid of this excess slime that they make but two to help them tear away food they form a knot starting at their tail and then they use it to provide leverage to tear away a piece of food from a carcass. And that, my friends, is the hagfish. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what the most interesting thing about the hagfish is. And drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on All Things Marine.